Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Warramai First Nations people and huge welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. It's fabulous to have you. Okay, after a few questions from uh, uh, my beautiful new subscribers and viewers, um, I just want to explain the Warramai people are the Australian First Nations people on whose traditional lands uh, I reside. Um, and in Australia for quite a long time now, uh, we're talking decades here, uh, it is becoming more and more prevalent to acknowledge uh, the traditional lands on which we reside, uh, the traditional tribes that were here uh, before us, um, and acknowledge that we are merely custodians of the land, we don't own it. So um, yeah, I'm on more of my land. Um, and, the, and I want to hold up a couple of signs that sit on my pin board above my desk, uh, which is in a dark corner, which is why I don't video there. But these videos are entertainment only. They are tarot readings. I get channeling from my guides. Sometimes the messenger gets the message wrong. Um, and they are readings on the energies of the time. We all have free will, so sometimes uh, the results can move direction, which is why we revisit uh, the same topics on occasion. So entertainment only, and check my mic before reading. <laughs> So thank you for joining me. Now, because I've got so many new subscribers, I'm just going to introduce you to my guides again. I have uh, changed my blurb in my About section uh, to talk about my two guides uh, just briefly. We do have a restriction of the am amount of characters we can put in there. And some of my amazing Intune viewers have seen my guides in my videos as well. I don't see my guides, but by crikey, do I hear them. So on this side, I have uh, Meister. Um, I call him Meister and he loves, uh, he has acknowledged that he does enjoy being called Meister and this channel is named after him. He is a Gaelic Celtic uh, warrior from, gosh, uh, the Roman uh, invasion of uh, what is now known as the United Kingdom. Uh, he was killed defending uh, his village uh, and his earthly name was Angus but he prefers Meister which is Gaelic um, Celt for Master. Yeah, he's got a bit of an ego sometimes too. My other guide is Narin. Absolutely no ego there whatsoever with Narin. Narin is a uh, Australian First Nations uh, spiritual uh, healer and um, tribal elder. Uh, Narin is, and he is from this area, uh, the Waramai area, and Narin, I don't know his actual earth name, but Narin is uh, the uh, Waramai uh, word for uncle. And in Australia, we call our First Nations elders uncle and auntie as uh, signs of uh, great respect. So he's very happy with that name as well. Okay, let's get into a reading. What am I going to have a look at? Someone asked me forever ago about Mitch McConnell going forward. So let's have a look at Mitch. His health is not good. I don't think his wife is around. He's getting quite elderly, but and he's lost his power. So I'm just going to have a look. I have not read anything into what he's up to uh, lately very quiet. Gosh, all these guys are dudes that had so much power and held the country in fear not that long ago uh, are being very, very quiet. So let's have a look at Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell, show me Mitch McConnell, the energies. I'm feeling that he, a very just biding time, biding time. Show me Mitch McConnell. Show me Mitch McConnell. He literally, I'm getting the image of a rug being whipped out from under his feet. And I think that's what happened when he lost the Senate. Uh, he had so much power. And remember him gloating about how he had something like 700 bills sitting on his table from the Democratic House that he wasn't going to present. Um, and it, the rug's just been whipped out. I wonder if those bills have since been presented don't know, perhaps one of you can tell me. Show me the energies of Mitch McConnell. Show me the energies of Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell. 
Oh, yep, they're telling me stop. Okay, if you're uh, learning tarot, your guides very uh, clearly give you uh, indicators when to stop shuffling. You just uh, have to listen. You have to listen to them. Oh, dear, Meister in my early days. Uh, oh, okay. I'm not surprised. This card flew out. It's uh, the signifier card for Mitch. It's literally out in the cold. Out in the cold, moral corruption, yeah, not yeah. There is moral corruption there, but I'm just really feeling that he's he's outside. He's outside of the decision making, outside of the importance. Let me have a look at this card. <coughs> it's, it's very, <coughs> very often. So it's five of pentacles. Very often, uh, the the guides will get you to choose a deck um, based on the images in the cards as well. <coughs> yeah. What I'm just feeling is that he's, if you have a look at this figure here, it's almost like, what the, what the heck happened? And almost pleading to get back in. But he's on the outer. Very much so. Don't think it's so much about a financial loss. I just think it's um, a sense of, sense of self loss. Almost a, where do I go now? Feeling, ooh. I have never seen this on the card. I don't know if you can see it there. Behind that hand there, there is a rat on the windowsill. Below the windowsill, it's under the, under the elbow. Don't know if my video is good enough. I've actually never seen that on this card before. Show. But as I said, you know, they give you the decks of cards for, for what you need to know at this time. The, yeah, the rat, the rat's abandoning. He's he's out with the rats basically. Okay, challenged by three of pentacles, another pentacle money. So it can be money, uh, money laundering and dark money card. But what I'm really feeling is this is more about. Okay, thank you guys. This is about him being on the out, financially shut out. Uh, ego, uh, his self-worth shut out, possibly his health as well is not good. But here we have my money laundering card. So is there something going to come up about Mitch in regards to money laundering, the Three of Pentacles? Depending on what you're reading on, it can mean, yeah, it can mean, <laughs> thank you guys, can mean building of a solid foundation, but they're just telling me it's not that, it's not that, it is the money laundering. They're not saying it's not that, they're just saying no. <laughs> it's not It's not the solid foundation, it is the money, the, the dark money card is what they're telling me. Okay, what's going on behind the scenes for Mitch? Ooh, 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 knight of swords, this is always... Swords being truth, they're also clarity, clarity of thought, intellect, um, learning. They can be the uh, internet, social media, but for me, it is just about always a harsh truth coming forward. So there is a harsh truth coming forward for Mitch, and it is going to come pretty darn quick. Okay, talk about March. March is pivotal. March won't see the ending of, of what's uh, what needs to be done in, in the US and also in Ukraine, but it is a pivotal month worldwide, but very much for those two parts of the world. So there's a harsh truth coming for Mitch, and it's the messaging on it is coming forward very quickly. Okay, what's going to fall out of this? What's coming out of this? Um, what's going on behind the scenes? An offer being made. Is he going to be offered to step down? Not happy with the offer, but an offer being made as something is exp what right, the high priestess. The high priestess is about what is hidden. What is hidden behind the scenes. She's also very spiritual. It's also very much feminine energy, but this in this is it's about what has been hidden. So, okay, thank you guys. What they're telling me is, go quietly. 
because there is stuff that is hidden that you do not want to be exposed is what I'm getting an offer to 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 leave okay judgment what is hanging over him the karma that he is facing is judgment and an inevitable ending and literally judgment and the star the star is um, very much about a, a, a respite respite thank you guys she is weighing up balancing up but it's about a, a respite and restoration of hope it's this is my card for what is the best for democracy this is the best for democracy okay democracy is not a great system but it sure beats the rest of them so this is and two major major arcana so the karma hanging over him is literally an ending for him for the best of democracy okay outcome GOP infighting five of wands why am I not surprised the throwing under the bus this is you did it no you did it um, this is about um, fighting off fighting each other fighting each other to try and gain the upper hand but it's in fighting it's petty uh, petty sand pit type fighting so this is also my throwing under the bus card five of wands outcome so it's in the infighting oh and tower moment okay Mitch these aren't particularly good cards for them so we have this throwing under the bus in fighting ending in a tower moment for Mitch okay the Hierophant we've got a lot of major arcana in this considering the portion of the deck um, his time in government the higher authorities his time in government ending so we've got two major arcana as karma hanging over him and three major arcana is the outcome. So it's telling, saying, take notice. This is important. So in fighting, ending up in this breaking down of old structures, destruction, really quick destruction. Is he going to go end up going out? I'm not getting a bad health card. That would be the Four of Swords. But this is destruction very rapid destruction but also so that something new and better can be rebuilt his time in government is coming to an end and then we have the ten of swords his time in government is coming to an end okay on the base we have ace of pentacles this is all about a new start and I'm going to new a new thank you they're telling me it's a new strength start for the US not uh, somewhat financial it but it's very much a reset card for the health for the health of democracy for the health of the US as we move into a more moderate time and there is the bringing of something, the birth of a new era. Okay, so that's the... Do I need to read further? That's Mitch. Um, mm, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to grab Pendulum for a minute to just see if I can get some timing. Timing is terrible because you have to understand that in... In the spiritual realm, there is no time. Time is a human construct. Even for animals, there is no time. Animals and plants, there are seasons, but there isn't time. Okay, let's have a look, which is why I tend to use the seasons when I'm asking questions, solstices, etc. Can I ask a question, please? Can I ask a question? Will Mitch McConnell serve out his term? Will Mitch McConnell, that's a definite no. Just 
definite no. Well, I'll just bring that up ever so slightly to see whether I can get my finger into it so you can see that I'm not. I've had a few people question me. Are you flinging your finger around? No, I'm not. Definitely not. Okay. The round in circles is ready to ask a question. Will Mitch McConnell serve out his term? And that's a definite no. Will Mitch McConnell step down after the mid-year solstice? I'm just sorry. Getting a draw towards. Sorry, I'll just take my <laughs> cleavage out of that. I do apologise. Well, okay. Start again. Can I ask again? Because I've been wiggling my finger. Thank you. Will Mitch McConnell step down after the mid-year solstice? And that's a yes. Will Mitch McConnell step down before the end of year solstice? And that's a yes. I'm trying to keep my finger in, sorry. Mitch, can I ask a question, please? Well, Mitch McConnell, yeah, it's saying yes. Mitch McConnell will step down before the end of year solstice. Okay. I'm getting the vibe that it's after the entertainment only. <laughs> after, after, for whatever reason, the Republicans, I've read several times on this, I've got them losing the house this year uh, or at least it going so moderate that they're supporting the Democrats um, so it's going to be after that all plays out but before the end of the year is what what I'm feeling okay it's not a health reason um, his health is not good he may okay thank you they're telling me he'll cite a health reason but it's not a health reason that he's stepping down it is an ineffectuality reason and because he's ineffectual uh, and uh, there will be some dirt on him that may not ever come to light okay thank you for joining me love you all catch you later bye bye